going to move on to the sign of Scorpio. And this is the official last uh, reading uh, of the signs. If you would like to get a personal reading, I will do one, but I would just ask if you donate by hitting the little, the little dollar sign down there for a super chat. And I would have no problem doing a personal reading here tonight. So let's see what we're going to tell the sign of Scorpio. Otherwise, I'm going to those shrimp and bacon, right? Me and my little swollen arm and taking off this bra. Or something. Let's see what we're sharing with the sign of Scorpio. Let's see what we're sharing with the sign of Scorpio. Ooh, cards like that. Show me clearly, Divine Spirit. It's the special message for the sign of Scorpio. Show me clearly. What are we sharing with the sign of Scorpio? Show me clearly. What are we sharing with Scorpio? It's a special message for Scorpio. Oh, that's too many. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. What's the message? It's really thinking. It's a special message for Scorpio. Show me clearly. Show me. Ooh, it's got a message. Show me clearly the voice. That's too many. Show me clearly. Message. Show me. What's this one? Okay, I got it. Okay, so the first card was chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Whatever is going on, Scorpio. And whatever is happening, it's worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. The only thing, and a couple of uh, signs have gotten this card tonight, finances and career, is that financial issues could be playing a role in your love life right now. So like, for instance, you know, COVID, you might be under lockdown in your own home. Someone might be in another state, another city, that situation, or you just don't have the money uh, date, you know, that type of situation. Uh, but this is a something involving marriage. The situation involves marriage. So if it's someone you're already with, maybe it's about being in your marriage or your partnership or someone you're thinking about marrying, or, you know, you're, you're headed toward that, but this is happening very soon. Clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now. And it also involves children, uh, your love life, uh, is being affected by children. So some of you might be marrying someone with children or maybe even someone you've had children with could be in a relationship or about that relationship. Whatever you do, express your love. Uh, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I think there could be a separation. I mean, time apart from your partner is on the horizon and it could be because of... Um, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. Whatever you do, I mean, playfulness popped up, which is, you know, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of, of fun to shine, but also to, to be lighthearted and, and because the, the last part is to love yourself first. So your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Sometimes, um, you know, if things aren't going up right and we find out someone's cheated or lied or whatever, we forget to love ourselves first and it is so not attractive. So I hope you, you know, have fun with this, uh, be playful with this. If this is unrequited love and you get separated, let it go. I mean, if it's the right one, I, if you express your love, if there's, if this is something involving children, because it said children, you know, like a baby mama, baby daddy type of situation, then that might be something, but, um, or, and it also had wedding. This could be really a, something to do with a marriage partner, something to do with the money, something that, you know, you just have to work it out. It's worth waiting for. Uh, it's the real thing. So Scorpio, you know, I hope you make the right decision, whatever you do. Okay, let's love and light to the Scorpio.